earliest memories of push food was at Howard's where I ate snails with my dad. It was just an experience that I can never change in my head. So Cook and Sunny is all about discovering food through the eyes of a child. Hi, my name's Jeff Wyatt. I'm eight and I brought my dad here to teach him how to cook. <laughs> and I'm Adam Byer. I'm the cook and this is my son. Here, this is exactly what I wanted to find, Jack. This is old fennel, so last year's fennel dried out. So mm -hmm. I think we should take some of these sticks for our fire. Yeah. This is called rock samphire. You know normal samphire? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. try that. See what you think of that. What do you think? That is salty. Oh, so what else does it taste like, though? Salt. Fennel? Yeah, fennel. And what's really important, Jack, is you must never, never take from the beach more than you need and you must never take things you don't know what they are. Ready? Yeah. This is called dulse. Dulse, yeah. And we can cool. dry this. Dry this. Dry it, make a powder, and use it for the scallops later. <laughs> and this is seaweed that we can use. We need to rinse all that, all that saltiness out, and we can put that in with our sea vegetables as well. Try a little bit now. Okay. You don't want to take too much. You never want to take more than you need, all right? Yeah. And you always must check. Another big limpet. There you go, oh, put cool. him in there. I'm going to cook him with the mussels later. Cool, man, he's big. Beautiful. So, is that the bit you beat or is that...? No, that's the tummy. Huge, Just see it? if you can find any more big. Here, Dad, look. Not big enough, that one. Is it not big? No. You need to find the extra, extra big ones. I'm going to make beach coma tea. What we've got here is a little teapot, and I thought I'd put in it some fresh water, not too much. A couple of our razor clams in there. In there. You know how much flavour is in these mussels? It's amazing. A little bit of that rock samphire. Lava seaweed and a little bit of fresh fennel. All right. Give that a really good shake and then pop that on the fire. All right. Boil it up nicely. Next thing I want to do, that would be nice to cook a couple of those, right? So we cook a couple of those. And we just open those up like we did yesterday. Lift the scallop out like so. Take away the outer part like that. And I just put a slate on there and we can cook it straight on that slate, yeah? I better do two, eh? Otherwise, you won't have one. A little bit of rexy doll. I'm just going to cut it in half because the outside's really wet and it won't colour, you see, otherwise. So we cut it in half. I thought we'd make a little wild garlic pesto. So we found some beautiful wild garlic, didn't we? Yeah, down on the roadside. On the roadside, on the way in. Some wild garlic's really in season now. So just break it in there. And you want to crush it up? Yep, that's my favourite job. Crushing it. I'm going to put a little bit of the lava, some salt, which is going to help it to break down and a bit of oil to bring it all together. And then these scallops, I'm just going to drop into the wild garlic, like that. Right up. What do you think? Yeah? Really lovely, aren't they? We've got some peach comb with tea. And we've got some lovely seared scallops on a hot rod. Yeah? Nice cup of tea. Nice, delicious. Cheers. Too far away. Why don't we just live today?